Hello, I hope you're well. Um, I just wanted to share um, some updates since the last video I did as we're sort of heading into the lockdown period. Um, I asked if people liked it and lots of people said they did, so you've <laughs> earned yourself another one. Um, so we're all well. Um, I'm actually in the office today, as you can see, but um, most teams are still working remotely. Um, and that, and that, that's worked well. Um, th there have been some sort of teething problems that we've had, um, mainly on a transition to Monday.com, which we're now using for sort of most project management. Um, and that's largely been pretty good. Um, I say only really teething problems, and it's more about the kind of way that we want to use that and the platforms seems to be evolving quite quickly. So um, I feel pretty good about that. Um, but we still meet as a group every morning, um, kind of Google meets or Google Hangout on video. Um, and, and that works. And it's, you know, I don't have a problem with communication. I think that's pretty good. Um, I do think this end we're all zoomed out. I'm sure you feel the same. Um, and I think that's been an interesting challenge, actually. It reminds me of the early days of Browse Media, which I, which I started from home. Um, I think it's really important to sort of delineate your kind of work and, life, work and home life. Um, and that's not always easy, um, but crucial. You need to switch off and recharge the batteries. Um, personally, I've been kite surfing a lot recently, which has been amazing and sort of the best tonic for pretty much everything. So I've been enjoying that. Um, so business-wise, uh, March and April, um, certainly not great. Um, not awful, but not great. But we, we've seen a kind of marked improvement throughout May, and that's really kind of carrying on into June. And that's a combination of um, some projects which are paused, which have come back on back online, as it were. And that's good to see. Um, and we've got some new clients, which is sort of almost a surprise, I guess. But, in, you know, didn't expect to be winning too much. Um, but there's work out there. You know, some really interesting projects, being a really nice little project, helping to, um, National Portrait Gallery promote the... They have, they have an annual awards, which is now obviously being run online this year or, or the exhibition for the awards and really nice little project and um you know th there's no doubt in my kind of mind that it, things are improving i think we were sort of through the shock phase and people are trying as much as they can to get back to normal and, and businesses are kind of waking up and and keen to do more and i think that's you know i'm not convinced that we're about to see a kind of sharp end of the v-shaped recession but the the, the the world feels like it's kind of waking up and looking through May's reports, it was just, you know, really encouraging to kind of see it green. All all the reports were up and the, you know, the online is is doing well. I mean, it's not probably not a surprise to most, but activity is up on pretty much every single account. Um, so that that's really good. And I, I kind of feel that there's absolutely no doubt now in my mind that now is time to double down on any kind of digital marketing activity and really make sure that you're well positioned um, to, to make the most of what ultimately is, a, is an opportunity. So that's been really good. In Term, terms of, kind of negatives, okay, the, the, the big one for me, I and mean, I think remote working has worked with the exception of um, junior members. I think it's going to be a real challenge for agencies like us to, to bring kind of inexperienced sort of raw talent onto the team. And, and, I, and I find that quite sad. And I think... The best learning, in my humble opinion, is, is through osmosis. It's listening com to conversations, it's being involved with meetings. It's just that sort of sponge effect, which you just can't do online. It's, it's just not, um, it's not as effective. So I do fear about people coming into, the, into, into our industry now, you know, from university or from wherever they may be coming from, with, with a great kind of potential, but um, no real experience. And it, it, it's, I'm struggling to think how we can offer that kind of role um, in the future. I think on the positive side, or looking at the flip side of the remote model, which I think is here to stay for, for some time probably, is that our kind of geographical uh, reach in terms of recruitment has suddenly gone arguably global, but certainly f much further than within commutable distance from the office. So that's, that's really interesting. And I think, um, you know, I, I, I've, I've sort of not, I don't fear now working with a team that's not, meeting every single day in the same office. We, we, we've proven we can do that. You know, productivity is good. The results are good. Communication is good. Um, so we can do it. But, you know, it raises question marks over the offices. Lovely though it is, it's, it is very expensive and it's, it's particularly painful if we're not even here. Um, but the, it's an interesting change. And I think, you know, we're, we're all going to see changes in the way that we work um, and kind of working patterns. So I think in summary, if you are um, trying to work out 
what to do online and how to make the most of the opportunity, then definitely get in touch. And equally, if you're um, looking for a new role with an agency such as ourselves, we'd love to hear from you. So get in touch. Thank you very much.